Many children in Ethiopia, especially those in rural parts, have little access to proper schools and education. In some places, not even a tree. Although building schools and training teachers are very important and should be given due attention, a parallel method is advised by One Laptop Per Child, a non-profit organization, to leverage children themselves by engaging them more directly in their own learning. As I note, a public school in Addis Ababa was selected for the pilot project to test the operational, technical and educational impact of the laptop in providing high-quality education for a fair, equitable, economically and socially viable society. According to Yosef Abate, ICT manager of the pilot project, the children were very excited about the laptops and performed more than expected. Uh, from the day one, we gave them this machine to operate it at the by themselves, opening and switching, is switching it on, and kind of write their names on the system and trying to find out what the activities are, what the keyboards <coughs> look like, and all these things they tried by themselves and found out in a few minutes. One laptop per child is a concept. It is an educational project that aims to give children the opportunity to experiment, explore, and express themselves. Following the five weeks training, we asked the students what programs or applications they liked most about the laptop. I like eToys most because I can use it to make cartoon films as we have learned how to make a car move along a path. I like pink very much and also like the camera on the laptop. The web link has biology and physics textbooks that I can browse to learn more on the subject. The parents are also happy that their children are selected to receive an opportunity to learn new skills and knowledge. Salam's family told us that since she started the training, she has become more interested in computers. From what she tells us, I have gathered that she is understanding what she is being taught and her knowledge on computers have increased. She is enjoying the training. She is always talking about it with her brothers. We showed that her interest on computers have increased. Salam's brother noted that her trainings will also benefit her sisters and brothers. If she gets the opportunity to have a laptop at home, she will be able to share her knowledge with her two younger siblings and her older sister, who has no knowledge of computers. Although the laptops use simple English that was not difficult for the children in the pilot project to understand, there are plans to localize it. Um, localization is basically key to the success of the whole program. Um, and localization here would mean, um, would go into two different directions, basically. One is regarding the computer itself. So. Um, what we already have designed, or that we have in stock, let's say, is an Amharic keyboard, for example. Um, but probably the more even critical part will be localization of uh, the content itself. Of course, um, I think we cannot cover 81 languages in Ethiopia. Uh, so basically, we would think uh, of the seven regions and their main languages, and then we would have to start with one, two, or maybe three languages in the first row. It may sound implausible to equip the poorest children with connecting laptops when rich children may not have them. Behind the name of the $100 notebook is that in average uh, countries in Africa pay $20 for textbooks per year per student. So uh, the design was made for five years because five times 20 is $100. Um, basically that's the minimum um, what the computer should uh, last for five years.